So the worst did happen and my phone was full. So I'm just picking up the end of the last video from here. So we are at the end of our swatch. We've made sure that it is um, uh, is going to be a square by folding from the top corner across. I'm pinching it there. So I could probably get away with another row if I wanted to, but I think from folding it, that's probably good. But if you wanted to do another row there, it's up to you. Um, so I'm just going to finish off. Did you see how I um, paused for a bit there? I've just simply pulled a bit more of my yarn through the loop so that I wouldn't accidentally put undo all my work because that is so depressing, to be honest. And you've spent a long time working on something and then it just gets unraveled. Um, if you're going to walk away, I really suggest that you use something to lock it off. So you can use a stitch marker um, and that just works by hooking it through and then it can't, it can't come through. If you don't have a stitch marker, you can use anything. If you've got a paper clip lying around, a safety pin... Um, trying to think what else you can just tie a piece of yarn through it anything to just stop it pulling through that gap okay so I'm just going to finish this last row um, back in the V's I'm just inserting my hook through yarn over and then pulling through inserting my hook under both parts of the V yarn over and pulling through yarn over pulling through the last two loops and then I'm at the last stitch here, so I'm just going to insert my hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And that is as much as I want to go. So I've got a square now. So to fasten off, I'm going to yarn over one more time and make another chain. But this time I'm not going to turn. I'm going to loosen off my loop, pick up some scissors. And I'm going to leave a good long tail here to make sure I can easily sew in the ends and secure it. And I'm just going to snip it off. And once you've done that, you just pull the yarn through and tighten it off. And there you have it. You've finished your first square. So we just need to neaten it up now. And that's where our darning needle comes in. So we thread our darning needle. We then we just go into our work and we just pick up a number of the threads as we go to make sure we're just weaving it in in and out of the work and you want to go for a little way to make sure that you're making it secure because we don't want this to unravel once you've done all this hard work and then we're pulling that through this is the fiddly bit. It's called sewing in the ends and it's not my favourite. In fact, it's probably my least favourite part of anything to do with crochet. Um, then we're going back through and we're going to do it three times to make sure that it is really secure. If you start panicking, you can do it a few more times. Um, and this time we're going to try and pick up different threads. So I'm going to work into different bits. You can even go through the yarn that you've just put in there. I'm realising I really do have a, uh, a video professional voice. My northernness isn't coming out as much. Maybe next time I'll really focus on that. Right, so that's the second one through. And we're going to go through a third time. Just again, picking up some different parts of the work to make sure we're securing it off. Push it through. Oops, be careful you don't just go off piece like I did then we just want the bits that you're purposely pushing through and then we're pulling through for the last time and you do have to be careful on that very first pull through that you don't pull your corner in too far um, it can be a really easy mistake to make and then we're just going to take our scissors and snip that last bit and there we have it that is your end finished you fastened off and you've secured it so it's not coming out you can have confidence in that um, and in the previous video I actually 
um, online today have already sewn in my first tail but on your project you will have another tail sticking out here from where you fastened on and started um, so you will need to do exactly the same process with that just threading it through your darning needle and then going back and two three times picking up different threads to make sure you're locking it off and then that is your washcloth or whatever it is you're going to use it for swatch start of a blanket um, completed now you can do something called blocking if you're not happy with quite how square it is um, then you can do something called blocking which is simply to take this piece of material put it on um, a piece of cork board or if your children have like foam mats I've pinched them a few times um, anything soft and squishy I'm trying to think what else would be squishy but sturdy so picture a cork board a pin board something like that that's what you're looking for and then you just wet the material slightly and then you um, pin it out at the corners and a couple of, along the edge and at the top and leave it to dry and that is as simple as it is so you could just use kebab skewers if you haven't got uh, you can get professional blocking boards but it's not necessary um, you can just use kebab stickers, stewers, cocktail sticks um, I'm trying to think what else nails Made, made the shared nails, pins, yeah, extra needles, safety pins possibly, mm, they might be a bit tricky, and then you just leave it to dry, and then when you undo it, you will have a more square shape. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and you enjoy going back into and finding the re repetitive rhythm of doing your single crochet. If you have enjoyed it, please do give me some feedback. I would really appreciate it. Either give me a like on the website um, underneath this video, some, like one of the videos on social media, and please share the uh, pictures of your finished products or partway finished products. Um, it would be really lovely to be able to encourage each other with our progress. Um, and just start a bit of dialogue between the group. Um, we're all quite isolated in this time and a bit of crochet therapy never hurt anyone. So do get in touch. All right, stay safe, stay home, save lives and have a great day. Bye.